Hey, what's going on, Beowulf Nation? So I'm Beowulf, back at it with another one. So, taking out the Kawasaki SXR 1500. It's actually Thanksgiving, so it's, it's, nobody's out. The day was so weird. It was like, it's really warm. It's actually really warm where I shouldn't have the whole wetsuit on, but you know, the sun's going down, the temperature drops. Water's not that cold, but I'd rather feel comfortable than feeling freezing. Um, yeah, so it's been raining all day, no sun, and literally <laughs> the sun's out, <laughs> stand up out. <laughs> so, getting ready to rip here at Merle's Inlet, South Carolina. So, the last couple times riding here, a uh, great white shark has pinged nearby, very close. So, one one pings mean there's probably a couple hundred more that are non tagged in the area, and then I was ending the video the first time riding this thing in the ocean and there was a bull shark right alongside me that I wasn't aware of it because I was too focused on the fishing boats. So yeah, definitely <laughs> everywhere to ride here is sketchy. Oh man, but it feels nice to be back out on this thing. Hope everybody had a good Thanksgiving. Once this video is up, it's probably weeks after Thanksgiving. Uh, so I did post a video on Thanksgiving, uh, the carbon fiber, uh, gauge pod from a GP 1800R. And, uh, it's nice coming out here where there's just not a lot of people out. It's kind of nice. I mean, there's still people here, which is crazy. Um, but it probably have been more people if the weather was nicer the whole entire day. I mean, it looks like a storm's coming through and right there, but the you know, clear skies and the sun's out. I was like, really? I was gonna be like, well, I'll ride this thing in the rain, but I was like, I don't know how intelligent being like ride in the ocean when it's like kind of gloomy you're asking for trouble so just gotta get out of this no wake zone so i do free monthly giveaways totally free to enter if you subscribe to i am beowulf and my second youtube channel beowulf nation and i pick somebody at the end of each month and also too you have to be subscribed to my instagram is i am underscore beowulf if you don't do insta then it has to be my facebook page i am beowulf so those three things and you get entered into the free monthly giveaway. Oh my gosh. Holy cow. Woo, that duck was coming straight at me. I was like, am I gonna get I was sitting there just like in slow motion, like, is it gonna hit me? I figured it wasn't, but I was like, I looked pretty confident that it was. But there's a lot of people on the dock. Yeah, so I have like no plans for Thanksgiving, so I'm all alone. Well with my dogs and my geckos and, and you know all those kind of reptiles um but i'm going to pick up some thanksgiving dinner to take home to eat so which is kind of like i guess it's a plus because if, if i had plans i wouldn't be out coming out doing this so uh that's what's, i think it's actually kind of nice last year this time i was in illinois right before i got this because i got these a couple days after thanksgiving so basically i almost had the ski for a year and I remember like how warm it was back here and how cold it was in the Midwest when I went there for Thanksgiving. So actually, to be honest, it's as fun as being around family and stuff around the holidays. Uh, when you have 70 degree weather and you're out in the stand-up, you can't complain. We'll do a quick ride by these people then head right up.
people are fishing. Oh. Hey, it looks like that boat's for sale. Can do, too. What is everybody doing? was a fun ride. Definitely, definitely always fun going out there. And uh, that thing is just unbelievable how different the thing rides. It's uh, it, those JC Racing Sponsons, and they have the race one with the mid sponsons. Just makes the ski rideable, and it's actually fun. Before it was the hardest part riding intercoastal and riding here when i had the reva racing sponsors was just trying to keep the ski straight was half the battle this it's just more like you're just enjoying riding i mean it's it's a lot of fun it's hard in certain spots though like when you go in those turns it's just like what's ahead of you and uh what's behind you because some of these boats they're not going to realize the turn radius you have to do or whatnot with it so it gets a little sketchy with that that's the hard thing it's kind of hard it's better than the intercoastal because there's certain spots intercoastal well certain spots here that you can't even turn around and see behind you which is the intercoastal you can even barely turn your head that's a hard thing to just ride in blind with no clue what's behind you and a place like this you got to think of it's boats when they're going fast they're not level they're pointing up well, when they don't see something like this that's so small out there, you know they're not used to what to do. There really isn't. Jet skis don't really come to this spot at all. I hardly, anybody I've seen here with a jet ski has been one for fishing, none for just riding to go out there and have fun. And it's definitely cool coming here. I didn't say earlier in the video, but the intercoastal is tremendously flooded. It is going to be months till we're riding out there, so uh, the, this is this is my backup spot basically, and uh, so I don't come here a lot because basically what I do is I save it to when I actually have to use this spot. Right now it's it's, uh, it's a using spot. I'm actually going to be selling too my uh, Triton Elite trailer. I'm actually going to put the stand up back on the Triton Elite trailer um, and just keep it on that, and then. Whenever I want to do a road trip, you just put the Yamaha back on and it's ready to rock and roll. Uh, it's probably what I'm going to do with that setup. Because I was really dead set in selling it because I just wasn't happy how it was riding. And now the ski, I actually have fun going out there. I actually can't wait to ride it. Before I was just felt like uh, uh, everything I learned was thrown out the door. And here it's like you get better each time going up. A lot of times when I was practicing getting up is to make sure my feet are already going in the, to the spots or where they have to be, you know, like the back of your back facing foot where you want to have your heel at and uh, your front foot, you know, position. So a lot of that is just where you can be practicing, where you feel under control, where you can get.
get up real quick. And uh, it's, it's amazing, basically in a year's time from where I've gone, riding the stand-up. I mean, basically look at it. It's one, only like one other person here. All the other boats are out. And actually this is a, guy told me he's a subscriber. Really sick looking Jeep Wrangler. I had one for a short period of time, but this one definitely you can tell some some money has been put into it. Looks pretty cool. I had like the same one at a Rubicon, but not all this custom stuff. He needs a shorter hitch though. It needs to come down. It's a, it's like the hit the hitch I got on is the hitch he should be using. If you look at it, because his trailer is pointing a little bit up, then see. Basically, <laughs> I have a hitch that he should be using, but I have it turned upside down. <laughs> That's basically get it up as high as it possibly can um, when you're pulling. Yeah, so this is the train weight trailer that's up for sale. So, anybody interested? It's a, I think it's a 2021 trailer, but only used it a handful of times, not that much. It's a nice, it's a nice trailer. It's just, I think the, well, I haven't known. Nothing's for sure yet because I haven't pulled with a Crown Vic. It should have no problem pulling it, but I like that. Dude, I just have so much extras into that trailer, and I got brand new tires that I haven't even installed from a like a year or two ago I bought, and uh, it's just when you have so much tied into it, and especially new tires and you got a spare and all that, it's just, it makes sense keeping the trailer. I'm goofy, I change my mind all the time, I have like one set thing of what I want to do, and then the next time I'm like, eh, I don't know about it now, it's just, <laughs> that's just how I roll, I can't make decisions sometimes, change my mind. But if you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button. Existing subscribers, hit the bell notification. Get notified as soon as the video is uploaded. And this is that thing I was talking about too. So before we get out of the outro, so I have this container, which is awesome. The spare tire wasn't there. You could actually fit two of these in here. So it's waterproof because there's no holes in it. So I throw all my stuff when I go ride an ocean in this. So then basically, um, I rinse it with salt away and whatnot, and then all the stuff is clean and dump it out and then rinse it with just water. And it doesn't get like salt residue or anything else in the vehicle, awesome. But it's the end of the video, I'll see you guys next one. Peace out, Beowulf Nation.